This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the Maxus Mi Fan 9. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how fast this car is charging. Wait, it's a Chinese car. They don't charge that fast. Well, let's see then. Okay, let's roll the tips. I, I included a bunch of cars here. Um, ID bus actually hits quite high speed in the beginning. Look at that, 185. That's the fastest charging one. And then I also include space tours. Yeah, I, I try to include a bunch of vans here because they're, yeah. But then also include ET90, which is very similar in battery size, but it has the LFP battery and it charges a lot slower. Yes, but the Mi Fan 9, you see that it can maintain roughly 120 kilowatt, quite flat, but there's nothing that can beat ID bus right now. But ID bus has the fastest charging speed ever in this comparison space tour is kind of like there you know it's 75 kilowatt hour it's actually the smallest battery in this comparison the EQV is just uh, actually quite big battery actually the biggest battery but uh, somewhat slow charging a uh, little bit disappointing it seems like a number of amps is limited to 300 only but look at MIFA 9 121 kilowatt nice and flat look at look at that compared to the ET90 they are, they are both of them are maxus but it's just unbelievable how much faster the MIFA is charging i wish the et90 would get this kind of charging speed that, that was the problem in the et90 you know the pickup truck is that it was quite thirsty but it charges dog slow so uh, let me see yeah the <laughs> the et90 is the slowest of them all right now unbelievable how slow it is id bus is about to hit 50 percent already but look at me for nine <laughs> Even at 40%, it can maintain 123 kilowatt. Nice and flat curve. Wait, which one is leading right now? Space Tour is kind of on the second. Or, yeah, it's a Space Tour. Yeah, MIFA is actually on second. Space Tour is on third. Wow. And, okay, now it starts floating a little bit now at the MIFA 9. Uh, dropping to 120 kilowatt. And then second drop is 115. But you will see that it drops fairly gently. So it has a very nice and flat uh, German charging curve. And uh, what about the other cars? Um, okay, just look at ET90. I include ET90 to show you guys that they are both Moxus, but okay, different battery chemistry, that's true. But still, I've seen LFP batteries charge way faster than 69 kilowatt. It's almost like uh, Moxus, they don't give a shit about the ET90. It's like, okay, whatever, we, we just let it charge. It can, uh, how fast does it charge? Yes, it charges. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, look at, okay, look at MIFA 9. Even at 60%, it can take over 100 kilowatt. Wow, this was a, such a pleasure when I did 1000 kilometer challenge. I could actually charge uh, to over 60%. I don't remember, I think one time I charged to almost 80%. It was that flat. Uh, bus, bus, on the other hand, is impossible to beat right now. It has a ha very nice uh, head start. Um, space Tour is, uh, well, you know, Space Tour seems slow, but the EQV is actually slower. Uh, yeah, and then, the, but ET90, man, is the slowest of all. You could say, well, the ET90 has a nice and flat charging curve. Yeah, it does. It is flat, 69 kilowatt flat. Ah, <laughs> shit. Okay, MIFA 9 now starts throttling a little bit, but nice and gentle throttling. We're going to look at the charging curve afterwards. ID bus is uh, past 80% already. What the heck, man? A bus is like a boss, man. That, that's the way to go, man. You don't need a big battery as long as you charge fast. The bus is uh, actually, let me see, it's, um, it's, in, it's in the middle there when it comes to battery size. Yeah, and then MIFA, but look, Look at MIFA. You see, even now, very close to 80%, it's still taking 80 kilowatt. Wow, that is impressive. Like, like even Space Tour starts going a little bit slow. Actually, well, I'll just say Space Tour, okay, doesn't charge that fast, but it also has somewhat flat charging curve. EQV also, actually, all of this has somewhat flat charging curve. ID bus doesn't look that flat, but it just has a high jolt in the beginning. Yeah, uh, okay, ID bus hit 90%. Yeah, okay, German cars, they just, they, they dominate. Well, except for EQV, as which was German, but okay. Yeah, ID, uh, ID bus, you know, is just gonna show Volkswagen. They are always the boss here. They're gonna go to 100%. Why not? MIFA start taking a, a quite significant drop now. So, I mean, if you wanna charge the MIFA, uh, go to around 83% or roughly, and then it starts going slow because, uh, yeah, the car is, um, yeah, it's a bit, little bit thirsty, but actually not that much thirstier than ID bus in comparison. Okay, um, what's gonna happen now? I, I, let me see, ET90 is still at the bottom. Okay, EQV is, wait, 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 Space Tour actually. Okay, Space Tour is beating, beating EQV. Wait, 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 
Which car gonna hit the um, ninety percent? Then uh, second one is gonna be Mifa or Space Tour. Space Tour is actually joint is gaining quite fast on the Mifa because Space Tour has a smaller battery. It's gonna oh, Mifa was number two. Wow! And then Space Tour, okay, number three, right behind it that one. And then ID Bus, like okay, you guys are just uh, playing around. ID Bus is gonna hit hundred <laughs> percent. Oh shit! What the heck, man? Okay, so I um I think I went yeah, Mifa. I went past it. I wanted to charge it ninety five percent. Space Tour has stopped at ninety percent, so that's fine. EQV is about to hit 90%, uh, which took a while. Yeah, there 49 minutes on the EQV versus 46 minutes on the e Space Tour, and then ET90 uh, is still going. Uh, ID Bus is feeling, <laughs> and then Mifa at least goes to 95% uh, before I stopped. I was trying to measure battery capacity based on charging, and then ET90, man, like, uh, like it, it, it's quite thirsty. And it charges dog slow. Okay, it's flat. Yeah, true. It's flat. Um, the charging speed only dropped by uh, 10 kilowatt. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, no, 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 it didn't, didn't. Uh, wait, wasn't it 69? No, it now it started dropping. Yeah, yeah. As you can say it has a nice and flat charging curve until 80 percent, but it's just dog slow. <laughs> so I don't think we need to sit and watch until the ET90 finishes. But uh, this is what I've seen uh, is that. Uh, Chinese cars in general they charge quite slow, but the Mifa 9 was quite a big surprise. And if you look at the charging curve, you see that uh, ID bus just boom 185 kilowatt hour per hour. Uh, I think that's a Mercedes thing. <laughs> uh, so because of this huge lead here or this huge jolt in the beginning, it's impossible to catch ID bus. But even past uh, what is this? Yeah, look, look, look at this shit, man. Even past 75%, the ID bus is leading when it comes to charging uh, speed. And this is even kilowatt. So C rating will be even higher than some of the other ones. And then there's, it, but, but look at MIFA 9, man. Huh? This is really good shit, man. Okay, it has a little drop there, but still nice and flat. It doesn't just plummet. And then what is this one? EQV. Okay, EQV is super flat like the Germans and then just flat, flat, flat. Okay. And then E-Space Tour is here, kind of like choppy, choppy, choppy. And then what is the bottom? Here? Oh, oh, it's the Muxus. Oh, shit. Like, it charges so slow. It's like, it, like how? Like, <laughs> ID bus charges more than double the speed of uh, Muxus. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. But uh, now you guys have seen it, how it is. Yeah, what do you think, huh? Mifa 9. I actually think that the, the, the charging speed is very good. Uh, it could be maybe even better. I mean, it's a whooping 90 kilowatt hour battery. Maybe they can go a little bit faster, but there's always a butt crack. Uh, maybe it, it's not possible uh, because of the thermal limitation on this battery because uh, I get the impression that Chinese car manufacturers they might not go for the best cooling <laughs> uh, and that, that, that maybe that's why they have to limit the charging speed yeah so but I mean it's still good yeah it's still good and also during 1000 kilometer challenge I did not experience any uh, cold gate but I was hammering it so uh, when Elbil Freningen tested this the same car by the way the Mifa 9, uh, they uh, had some Colgate, but uh, they were probably driving slower than me. So yeah, to avoid Colgate, you can hammer it uh, because there is also, also um, an option to enable some uh, smart battery heating, whatever, uh, but apparently that's not enough because when I also did some range test the other day and I was driving slow, 90 kilometers per hour for a while, uh, and I plugged in to charge it with low state of charge, actually quite low state of charge, I think it was 10%. Then I was cold gating also. I was getting around 90 kilowatt rather than 120 kilowatt. So uh, that means that uh, in winter um, there might be some cold gate. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.